was a guy who was living a miserable life. Life wasn't very kind to him. His father died, his mother was sick, he lost his job, his girlfriend broke up with him. But among all these miseries, he could still imagine himself singing and dancing in the mountains of Alps, holding hands in hands with his lover in the tulip fields of the Netherlands. Probably this was the plot of Indian movie from 90s, the stuff that I grew up watching. These dreamy sequences had a lasting impression in my mind and in my heart. Inspiration waiting for an opportunity. Until I got a chance to travel to Europe for a work assignment. And that was the beginning of my subconscious dream to travel to these beautiful destinations in Europe. A little bit about myself. I am an engineer by profession working in a tech telecom company. I started my career as a software developer, worked in various programming languages, put in the effort and risen up your rank. But that's not the facet of life that I'm going to talk to you about today. You know, there is this other thing that I do, something that most of the people have keen interest in pursuing nowadays. I am a social media content creator and a travel blogger. It all started in 2016 when I decided to record my road trip to Berlin and upload it on YouTube in a way. Thinking that the most that can happen will be lots of questions from my friends and family about travel plans. But that one decision led me to become a content creator and giving me opportunities to directly impact young minds as in I'm doing today. In social media universe, my husband and I runs a YouTube channel by the name of Desi Couple on the Go. We have got 150,000 subscribers, more than 10 million views. Our Instagram page is also growing and we have got 17,000 followers. Our Facebook page has 65,000 followers. These are good numbers, no doubt. But to become a content creator, both with consistency and quality, is neither easy nor quick. But then, nothing worth doing was ever easy. If it were, then everybody would be doing it. The most interesting and amusing part of social media is that there is no magic formula. You all must have seen the picture of an egg which has got millions of likes. That's the most liked photograph on Instagram. Can you believe it? You can't really predict what can go viral and what cannot. Couple of years back, my husband and I decided to travel to Iceland and capture this magical place with drone and best of the photography equipment that we had. Thinking that this travel series would kill it. One million view dream every single night. But it got doomed. And I kept wondering for days what actually went wrong. Why didn't my audience connect with it? But there was no straight answer. As they say, if you keep winning, then you learn nothing. With every failed video, I kept learning. I started to shoot videos more differently, edited it more professionally, and uploaded it more regularly. I also changed the name of my channel. It was called Shades of Megs, and I changed it to Desi Couple on the Go. There were a lot of people who were not able to pronounce it correctly. Even my dad was finding it difficult to pronounce. I also changed the language of my channel from English to Hindi because there were lots of travel bloggers who were making it for English audiences and very few who were making it in Hindi for Indian audiences. I also connected thanks to the feedback with my initial subscribers and I connected with them through various ways and understanding from them what exactly would they like to see in my videos. 
new ideas kept pouring in and I started to make more new videos and subsequently new followers and new viewers kept coming in. But still, not all of my videos performed the same. There are some of my videos which has got more number of views than rest of the pack. Few of my videos outperform incredibly and there are also few of them which underperform. But that's okay. Every upload is an opportunity to learn and retrospect. One perceived failure should never be the ground for stopping. Rather, it should be an impetus to learn and get back better. It sounds cliche, but it's true. Perseverance is the key to a successful social media career. Social media is an evolving place. And in this connected world, it can surprise you in many ways. Without the common operating framework and increasing concern over privacy, it poses a risk of being very volatile. For example, India banned famous TikTok app and all of its creators were left to either shut down their profile or to move to some other platform to keep the engagement alive. YouTube is also a galaxy with 30 million channels, 500 hours of data uploaded every single minute. You can easily get lost. People are continuously searching or browsing about cute cat videos or how to become rich videos or how to talk to your crush videos. The list is infinite. And to stand out, you have to create content which people can connect to. And that's the skill which requires time. Lots of time. Eventually, there are also lots of different factors. Like I am being a travel blogger, COVID pandemic happened and I had to cancel all my travel plans. And left with thinking about creative ideas of how to still keep my channel healthy and active. But thanks to my tech job, I don't have to worry about earning money through social media. I can still do what I love, which is traveling and creating quality content. Business, medicine, law, engineering, these are noble pursuits necessary to sustain life. Love, poetry, romance, beauty, this is what we stay alive for. This line from Dead Poet Society is a beautiful metaphor that describes my love for my tech engineering job and my passion to travel. Is it easy to maintain both together? Indeed, no. To have a social media presence with a full-time job is very difficult. Your weekends converts into weekdays, your Netflix time goes into brainstorming session of thinking about what will be the upcoming videos. You have late nights, occasional cancel plans and constant stress. You can pursue social media with a full time job if that's your true passion. You should love while doing it. Because then only you can prioritize it over rest of the things. To create a full video requires lots of effort from idea conceptualization to thinking about what should be the shooting location, then shooting it, editing it, thinking about the storyline, what song goes with that storyline, and then uploading it on YouTube. After giving your 200 percent, here comes the anxiety. How my video will perform? Will my audience connect with it? And the result can always differ and can leave you with something to learn. People do ask me, where do I get all the motivation from to upload content perpetually? And the answers lie in the DMs and the comment sections of my social media channels. I got a message from a 72 year old man that during this COVID pandemic time, he traveled virtually through my videos and enjoyed every bit of it. 
I also got lots of messages from youngsters that how our travel videos have inspired them and how positively it has impacted their lives. These DMs and comment sections are the driving force behind my channel. I am not going to tell you that to pursue a career in social media, you have to leave your traditional job. I have first-hand experience that both can coexist. If you draw boundaries, then one can bring food to your table and the other one can bring food to your soul. I will leave you with a dialogue from an Indian movie called Dil Dhadakne Do, which goes like, Dil se faisla karo, tumhe kya karna hai? Dimaag tarkeep nikal lega. Meaning, let your heart decide what you want to do. Brain will find ways to do it. 